Alright, today we're going to be making chicken spaghetti and normally we make this in a ceramic bowl that goes into the oven but I decided to make it today in the lodge Dutch oven because it's about 102 and I did not want to heat up the house any more than I had to by cooking this in the oven. So I'm going to show you how I made this in the Dutch oven here and using you can use either the method I used was with coals in my Weber barbecue or you could use a Dutch oven table if you have one of those. I don't have one yet so I just use coals in my Weber barbecue to cook this. So let's go through the process here and I'll show you how to do this. So what you're going to need here is half of a green bell pepper, half of an onion chopped up. We're going to throw in some red uh, diced pimentos here and the bigger can of cream of mushroom. I think this is like one pound, 10 ounces. And a whole chicken, kind of shredded up, broken apart. I don't have pictured here, is you're gonna need some cheese. Before I mix all of this together, I'm going to start my coals so they can get hot. I'm using some old coals that I already had in the barbecue here and some new ones. Okay, we're gonna to need to boil some noodles. So as the water gets heating, a little trick to help your noodles not stick to each other is to add some a little bit of oil, some olive oil to your water and a little bit of olive oil will help the noodles not to uh, stick to each other and also gives them a little bit of flavor. We're also going to season the noodles with some salt and a little bit of pepper so that way when they boil they'll cook with these seasonings here. Once your water is boiling Go ahead and stick your noodles in. I used a whole package of noodles. Go ahead and give your noodles a stir. Get them boiling underneath the water. While our noodles are boiling, we're going to go ahead and saute our vegetables up. So start with some butter in your uh, pan. Get your butter nice and hot and then go ahead and dump in your green bell peppers and your onion. Stir those around and saute them. Now remember you want to, sauteing is a high heat, so if you don't hear them sizzling, that means that they're not sauteing and they're actually steaming. So try to keep a high heat on these. We're gonna check on our noodles now. We want them about al dente, so just slightly firm, but soft. Seems to be done, so we're gonna go ahead and strain them. And our vegetables are looking about done. So once you have these steps ready, your vegetables and your noodles ready, go ahead and get your Dutch oven. We're going to spray it down here with some cooking spray. Dump in our spaghetti. This is where we, we're going to mix everything together here. Add our cream of chicken, our cream of mushroom rather, and our vegetables. And we're going to go ahead and start adding our chicken in. And so we're going to finish tearing up the, the big pieces. Once we have about half the chicken in there, or you can put all the chicken in there, we're going to add some cheese into this. Just some pre-shredded cheese, Costco brand. Add our pimentos. Ah, use the whole jar, why not? A little bit of seasoning salt. Some Lowry's, I think. Some pepper. A little bit of cayenne. Since our boy is going to be eating this, we're not going to use as much cayenne as I would normally like, but that's fine. Go ahead and start stirring everything together. Once you get everything nice and mixed together, go ahead and spread the spread the mixture out, and then we're going to add a layer of cheese on top here. Once the cheese is on, we're going to go throw it onto our coals. So here I'm going to try to spread out a bed of coals. I don't want a lot of coals on the bottom, um, I, and I want most of them on the top. Now since everything's cooked, we basically just want to heat this up and to brown or, and cook the cheese on top. So we'll get our bed laid out, our coal bed, try to set our Dutch oven in there level, and grab some coals and load up the top. So this whole cooking process is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes, just depending on how many coals you use 
And what we want to do is every about every 10 minutes is rotate this about a quarter of a turn, and then rotate our lid the opposite direction about a quarter of a, of a turn. And that will just ensure that uh, the heat gets distributed evenly. And since we have coals on the side here of the barbecue, I don't want one side cooking or burning. So I'm just going to rotate this like in that method about every 10 minutes. I had to get my uh, my welding glove because this thing is freaking hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and it's been about 30 minutes and a couple rotations of it here. Let's take the lid off and see how it looks. Oh yeah, looking good. The one side looks like it could be cooked a little bit more, so I might shift some coals to that side, but it looks good. We're almost done. And here it is with that one side cooked a little bit more, but I think this is good enough for me, so we're going to go ahead and pull it off. This thing is really hot. You can take a look at it here. It's nice and, and brown and crispy looking. And there we go. Chicken spaghetti cooked in the Lodge Dutch oven. Let's go ahead and get some served up here so it can cool down so people can eat. Chicken spaghetti looks good. It was really good too. In fact, let's see what Lincoln has to say. Is that good, bud? <laughs>